The thieves are evolving. Check this out. This is insane. My packages were stolen, but low key, I'm impressed. Look at this. Look at that. You have to give props. One point for creativity. Negative a thousand points for the scumbaggery, but for the creativity, that's incredible. Absolutely incredible. And it, this is a warning. This is a PSA. We're getting into holiday shopping times. Careful for these people. They're out there trying to get your packages, all right? And they're getting creative. Happy Thursday and welcome to Z Education. Welcome to another episode of Try Not to Laugh. Very important shows here, guys. There's no laughing in these times. We have an election ramping up. We have an economy ramping down. Things are not good, all right? And I'm here to test you to make sure you're all miserable. I don't want you laughing at any of this stuff, okay? So if you accept the terms of today's game, head down and like this video. And if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's game. Try not to laugh, go. The vibes of Bill Bilicek, first IG post feel familiar. Hello everyone. Hello. Surprised to see me here? Oh, I am too. <laughs> How about that ride in? I guess that's why they call it Sin City. <laughs> it's perfect. Over the past few months and not being with a team, I haven't had the opportunity to express my thoughts at a moment's notice. So now I'm changing that. You guys might not know this, but I consider myself a bit of a loner. I tend to think of myself as a one man wolf pack. I tried to join Snapface, but I couldn't find it. But when my sister brought Doug <laughs> home, I knew he was one of my own. And my wolf pack, it grew by one. So here I am. Hello, Instaface. See you soon. Accurate. I love the splicing together between uh, the hangover and Bill Belichick. Mr. Belichick, great coach. You got to work on your social media game. No, it's not a bad thing. All right. It takes time. Got to get in comfortable in front of the camera let's hear like, some charisma here okay channel your inner doug it's the brother-in-law right on hangover okay next okay this is my side we have conditioner and shampoo we have a let's hair scalp this. thing we have sugar yeah, well, it's rub. probably like 100 we bucks worth of stuff too. Look at that. we have body wash we have a shaver and a loofah and on my side <laughs> honestly that's really all you need is a bar of soap it's all the same they just put a different label on it no, Tyler, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's all soap. Soap does the same stuff. It just has a little different uh, hint of a smell to it, you know? I don't know why nobody talks about the fact that there's a Starbucks in Yosemite National Park. Like, come on. Why is there only one? How are all the visitors supposed to get caffeinated in the morning? We need to fight for easier Starbucks access for all visitors and construct <laughs> one to eight Starbucks at each campsite, as well as a few at each landmark. I mean, we have to do something with all this empty space. You can't tell me that you wouldn't get an ice white chocolate mocha after hiking to the top of Half Dome. I guarantee this is what the people want. <laughs> what do the people say? What do you guys think? Do there need to be more Starbucks in Yosemite? And uh, also in Yellowstone? All the national parks. That's, that's all of them. I didn't expect this. Advertising firm hired a comedic genius. Okay, she's in jail or something, right? When are you gonna get out of here? In a while. I gotta get back. <laughs> I love you, Mama. I love you too, baby. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Spend less time cleaning. I don't know what this is for, but it's, it, that is genius. Never seen this commercial. Um, Whatever the product is, I don't even know what it is. I'm buying it. That's great. Can we make commercials great again? They used to be. You guys remember the ESPN commercials? I mean, there was a lot of good commercials. The beer commercials were funny. Everything was pretty funny. They, they put effort into it. Now they don't. Now, well, because like every other one is a stupid pharmaceutical commercial. Someone explain to me because ain't no way. Comes to one-year-old Tariq. You are the father. <laughs> what? No, no, someone, that has to be edited. There's no way. Get out of here, dude. It's like uh, me, myself, and Irene. It's actually, you know, it's a recessive trait throughout your family tree that just showed itself, I guess. That friend who disagrees with everything to be different. Looking like it's going to rain later. I'd be baffled if it rained. I mean, it's just looking like dark and cloudy. 
doesn't mean it's gonna rain. Harvard has to be the hardest school to get into, hands down. Maybe for you. Bro, what? I would've gotten in, I just didn't apply. So. No, you wouldn't. Dude, it is so hot out right now. It's not that hot. What I'm you? wearing pants. You're wearing shorts. I would be the one. I would be the one to be hot if anything. Dude, you're what? wearing shorts. It's I'm just making hot. an observation. It's not that hot. These beers are ice cold. So refreshing. Yeah, I mean, they're cold. I wouldn't say ice cold. I've had colder. I, dude, I love watching lacrosse. How do you know they're playing lacrosse? Eh? What, what, what do you mean? Prove it. It's clearly lacrosse, dude. Okay, says who? <laughs> says, says who? Oh, uh, these guys are hilarious. Let's put their handle up just so uh, if you are on Instagram, go follow them. I think they're on TikTok too. A lot of hilarious stuff from them. Uh, but th this is, everyone knows a person like this. There's a sense of power that comes with being the contrarian, being the person that always disagrees or has the opposite opinion. There's, a, there, I don't know what it is exactly, but there's, everyone knows someone like this. I can think of the person in my head right now that I know that's like this. When your son returns home from college with his liberal arts degree. Dude, great movie. Great movie. Black Sheep. Uh, but sadly, that this this happens. Kids go to college. They get sucked into these weird uh, woke holes. And it's hard to get back out. The world falling apart. Influencers. Why don't you let me fix you some of this new Mococo drink? All natural cocoa beans from the upper slopes of Mount Nicaragua. No artificial sweeteners. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Who are you talking to? I've tasted other cocos. This is the best. There are a lot, yeah, a lot of ad reads. I feel like, you know, we do lose quite a bit of money on not doing ad reads, but I don't like doing ad reads. I feel like it takes away. And whenever I do watch videos, I watch YouTube every day. I skip right through. So, um, yeah, and I, so I don't like them. I don't think you guys like them. I hope you guys appreciate that. I think you guys do. Uh, on that note... When we do advertise things, it's generally things that we care about, things we we want to, uh, things that we're invested in. If you have not checked out my book yet, you should. A lot of great reviews on it. Check out the Amazon listing, Barnes and Noble, a lot of a lot of places to buy it. Please leave a review if you have not yet. There you go. There's our our uh, world falling apart. Us plugging something. So dad's giving their kids ice cream even though mom said no earlier. But what mama don't know won't hurt her. I've never said that. I've thought it though. I have thought it. I, I'm sorry. Sorry, wife. <laughs> this is insane. I just ordered an Uber and my dad is the driver. Check us out. It's messed up, man. <laughs> also very funny. We've had him on the show several times now. I would highly recommend following him. A lot of great content there as well. That's so messed up. Oh, come on. The slow motion train wreck. Jeez. You're lucky he's okay, dude. Sitting here shake laughing in the store, dude. Yeah, get out of here. Stop that. How long does it take for your social battery to run out? I would say probably... Four minutes. Four minutes. Yeah, uh, I'd say about four minutes. Kind of depends on the group of people. You know, if it's a group of people I don't know, yeah, maybe a little bit longer. If I meet you guys in person, I've met several of you in person, uh, I have an infinite amount of social battery. That's, that's a fact. I really like talking to you guys. So if you see me, come say hi. Now that's love. What are we looking at? Oh, hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Riding to the store together. Riding to the Dollar General with a blown out tire. That's love, man. Look at that. She's holding on to him so he doesn't fall off. Beautiful. She, he gave her the seats. You know? I love it. This is They need to start writing movies like this about this kind of love. I just saw a recent clip. Most of the love movies out there, it's about the woman cheating on the husband. The Notebook. Titanic. All the most famous love stories... There's another, there's a husband involved and the woman cheats on the husband with a former lover, something like that. Let's, let's make a real love story with no cheating involved. This, there's no cheating here. This is true love. You can see it. It's beautiful. Just wondering why I'm 
men are like this. That's literally fettuccine in a vase. <laughs> as if we don't have Tupperware. Wait a minute. Or anything else to put this in. Why are you mad about no. this? This is genius. Dude, he is taking up the entire space. Vertically and horizontally. He's he's this is efficient. I love this. <coughs> <coughs> oh jeez. I gotta swallow a piece of cat hair. Ugh. I'm not even kidding. I just inhaled it. How my toddler walks after I asked if they pooped, but they said no. Don't ever trust a toddler, man. They're liars. They're little liars. They did poop. They're lying to you. You always hear people say stuff like, oh, everyone's just out here trying their best. But no, the f they aren't. <laughs> Everyone? No. A lot of us, maybe even most of us. But like, I can think of five people off the top of my head right now who aren't even trying to begin with, let alone their best. And they're doing this oh. on purpose. <laughs> He's right. And I, I disagree in, in the most of us. Most of us are not trying our best. That's that is a fact. I can think of a lot of people that I know that they're not trying their best. The best names in college football. Here are the best names in college football. These are actual names of real people. Dude, person, Central Arkansas. Yeah. Mobility. What? Rice. No. Rowdy Beers. Florida International University. Yep. Fat Watts. Tulane. Memorable Factor. Duke. That's right. Major Burns. LSU. Derealist Clark. Defiance College. King Large. SMU. Pig Cage. Louisiana Pig? Tech. That's really? gotta be a nickname. Stone Handy. Charlotte. I, uh, Is that a wide receiver? Squirrel White. Tennessee. Tiger Shanks. Dude. UNLV. What a name. Oh, God. Parker Titsworth. Come on. Nice. Booby <laughs> Curry. Buffalo. Oh, come on. Panda <laughs> Askew. Charlotte. Chief Borders. General Booty. Shitta Salah. Okay. And last but not least, John Smith. Holy nice. Cross. Nice. I bet we have some John Smiths watching this. There's a lot of John Smiths out there. I got to say, I think some of these are nicknames because like Debo Samuel, Debo is not his real name, but on all the, the rosters, it's Debo. It's so interesting names. My favorite was Dorealist. You got to name your kid that. If you laugh at anything in this video, you got to name your kid Dorealist. Phenomenal name. When you ask people with no personality what their favorite TV show is. Friends. <laughs> I can't say that's accurate because I don't know. I've, I've seen like, I've, tr I've tried to watch it. I think I got two episodes in or three episodes in. I just, I didn't, I didn't think it was good for me. I could get into it. I know there's some people here that love the show Friends and they're offended at this. So, vegans paying homage to the fallen at the meat counter. Stop. Stop it. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, jeez. She's a vegan? I, I don't, yeah, generally when you think of Next. <laughs> Point of view, you're about to have the worst tacos of your life. Hola, welcome to La Fiesta Bien. Um, <laughs> would you like a high top table with backless stools or a high top table with backless stools in a different area of the restaurant? My name is Kayla, I will Hola. be your waitress. I know you're probably concerned that maybe the tacos aren't gonna be that good because I'm very clearly not Mexican, but um, don't worry, because the guys in the back are also pretty much all white actually, except Marco, <laughs> he's Italian. Yeah, actually chips and salsa aren't free. Um, you do have to pay what? $7 for the chips and eight for the salsa. And if you want them together, it's 25. Yep, so all of our tacos are gonna be sold individually and they're $14 each and bad. I don't even think this really counts as appropriation because we're not doing anything successfully here. The queso is also pretty good. It is bright orange in hue. And how spicy do you want that? We have no spice, um, negative no spice. spice bland, buffalo sauce, and Tabasco. If you go to any restaurant and they charge you for chips and salsa, that place is a scam, okay? Do not stoop to that level. Don't order the chips and salsa. That should be free. You go to any authentic Mexican place or we'll say Tex-Mex place, you're getting the chips and salsa for free. You don't even ask for it and they bring it out, okay? That's hospitality. 
you're going to a place you're paying 15 bucks for chips and salsa, scam. Same energy. <laughs> Let's just get through the next 64 days. How about that? <laughs> Catch me outside. How about that? Oh, that's Catch accurate. you outside. Do you have an accent of some sort? <laughs> Do you have an accent of some sort? Ah, oh, jeez. It is. She has a different personality, different accent with different groups of people. It's a sleazebag politician to call it a chameleon. My weakness is a guy in a backwards hat. Yeah. See? Ladies love it. <laughs> I, I, you might have got a few extra points there, brother. I don't know. <laughs> Ladies, does, does the backward hat help? <laughs> okay, we're eating ice cream out of the same tub right now. And I eat in layers. I go across left to right. In yeah, layers. you do layers. Always. She digs down. Mm. Like, like, <laughs> like a crazy person. Yeah, that is a crazy person. Who's right here? Layers all day. Let me know. Because the top layer melts. So you got to get, you have to start eating the melted layers as it melts. Otherwise it freezes weird in the freezer again when you put it back in there. So yeah, when fantasy football team starts 0-1, yeah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in favor of uh, execution. Maybe maybe our entire team needs to be executed after tonight. Jeez. Is that their head coach? Um, we're three weeks in now, so how's your team doing? Do you have all the injuries on your team? My toddler trying to retell a joke he heard. There's an old saying in Tennessee. I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once. Shame on... Shame on you. It fooled me. We can't get fooled again. <laughs> classic, classic clip. I wish we would have had social media. And I wasn't really politically in tune then. I didn't really know what was going on. But the clips I see, he had a lot of really funny things that he said. Uh, in social media, it would have been a heyday. Can you imagine laughing you lose then? Why sleeping bags are dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, a couple fears unlocked here. Bigfoot fear, Bigfoot, and uh, sleeping bags. A question, though, what, did he have your feet while you were in the sleeping bag? Because if you just grabbed the bag, you would have flown out of the top. Something ain't right there. Uh, another thing. Let's make these crappy movies great again. Uh, we should do, maybe we should live stream some of these and watch them together. Now, this is phenomenal. Screw CGI, dude. All these stupid CGI movies. This is when they actually put effort into it. They really tried. And they, they had no budget on this one too. And they made it look entertaining. Let's just use that word. <laughs> it's amazing. Look what the homeless people in Austin have built. This is insane. What? We have seen a lot, a lot of phenomenal DIY shelters. We saw the truck the other day. This one, look at this. That is incredible. More power to you. Put it on the Honda Accord. Love it. Do you know that queer and trans people actually experience time completely differently to cishet people? It's a concept called queer temporality. All right, this opinion's probably going to get me canceled, but hear me out. If you're able to shift your gender on a whim, regardless of your genetic makeup, and you're able to time travel, you're not oppressed, okay? You're a f***ing superhero. <laughs> that is f***ing awesome, dude. <laughs> dude, we've been looking at our wrong. He's right. You're a superhero. You are defying science. You are in another realm of reality. You are a superhero. He's right. What are we doing? These people, they're superheroes. <laughs> How is your driver? It's a problem for me, okay? I can't control it, okay? <laughs> it's in my family. My father said it's on his side. I can't control it. I don't understand. I mean, it makes me very sad. Stupid driver, dude. The bane of my existence. I, I can hit it really far. Just it doesn't go straight very often. When you ask for help losing weights. Why is the fridge on the bottom? <laughs> Dude, this I love this. If you need help losing weight, yes, get that guy on there. He'll serve as your reminder to don't eat, don't eat the junk food. Don't eat the crap or just don't even buy the crap. How about that? We literally all of us. 
we're trying to be better about it. We're pretty good about it, to be honest. Like we, we buy pretty healthy food. But some of the snacks we buy, it's literal poison. Read the stuff. Read the label. Get this guy on there. Stop eating poison. You're going to get fat. Or you are fat. Look at that. You, do you look down there? <laughs> some of this guy's zingers are just wild. My work attitude on Tuesday. Oh, come on. Come. Is this just you wasting time? Is that what it is? You're on the clock, but you're actually not doing it. Okay, yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. I really don't know if there's anything worse than being between rolls of toilet paper. This wall-mounted toilet paper things, holder is suck. only made to hold one roll. It's supposed to go like this, as you know. Just put it in here and no, you, no, it's barely mullet. have it. You gotta do a mullet. You're not doing a mullet. But what if I want to have another one at the ready? Well, let just me set it, show set it you behind this the, hack. the toilet on the on the thing. First, I'll remove this from roll. The upper deck. Okay, what is she gonna jam them in there or something? something and I'll just stick it right on this right here. No, no, no. Let me put this away. Nope, that's a crime. That's a crime. I respect now I'll put you. Now the other one right here. I respect so you. I respect put my finger right here and pull the this content, down, but I don't appreciate I this. This is my paper. This should be criminal. No, that way I won't run out and either will my guests. I really do hope this comes in handy for you. Again, I appreciate you. I appreciate you spitballing ideas, but that ain't a good idea. Put the, put the extra roll on the upper deck. That's it. That's the, that's the solution. Everyone knows that. We got protesters protesting electric vehicles? Shouldn't you be supporting Tesla and, and electric vehicles? I'm really confused here. Dude, these people. Nothing will ever be good enough. That's That's where I'm at. It's proof. Look at this. Shouldn't you be out on an oil rig somewhere if that's what you're protesting? Do we got any Germans that know what that says? What does that say? Um, comedy gold. Truly. The only thing I can think of right here is this is like, this is someone out there trying to make that movement look stupid. Because both sides do that to each other. They try to get the most absurd character out there to get the attention and make the whole movement look dumb. But most of the people we see in these clips, they're there on their own will. These are real people with these real ideas. I wouldn't be surprised if they're they're being serious here. Protesting electric vehicles. Interesting. When you accidentally sleep wrong and your birth year starts with a 19. Broken, broken, broken. Uh, crack, 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 crack. Broken, bro broken angle. Almost, just not everything broken, but square. Yeah. Yeah. It's more and more true every day, man. All of you out there with a 19 on your birthday, how are you feeling today? How are things going for you today? How would you do in today's video? Did you laugh at all? If you did, you lose. All that means is you have to watch again on Sunday. Or if you laugh, you lose, you do a punishment. Let me know how you did down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help us get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed, and this is Education. Beer brewed here. It is used to make the brew beer in this. Idiots.